finance that system, right? You have to find a way to get get carbon taxes and water taxes, and you have to levy those against oil companies that have an oil spill, so you can finance mitigating their pollution, right? That's something that we will have to eventually work towards. This company, um, they have a lot of different systems, and they're a partner on our team, just waiting for funding. So we're we're waiting for next steps on that. Uh, these are our original designs for algae harvesting and then an algae harvesting drone pulling a leviathan. So you're actually extracting nutrients, reusing them for uh, plastic, bioplastics, and then you're removing nutrients with the island that's being pulled behind it. So you're actually mitigating an algae bloom which causes eutrophication and suffocates the water table. Next. Uh, you, you can also utilize algae for biofuel if it's in a single cell type of environment. Companies would be willing to partner with us to utilize their systems. Free energy out there, free carbon, so we can uh, tag into different systems. One of our partners, he wasn't able to make it tonight, but Sefton Water Tech uses geothermal power plants, uh, the waste steam from those power plants to create fresh water. So his system ties directly into a geothermal operation and does distillation which is a lot cheap, about half price of what the Carlsbad facility does with no emissions. So his systems can be used and replicated for moving, removing the salt content. The salt is one of the biggest issues at the salt and sea right now. Obviously too much creates, creates habitat loss. And then he's also created, I use the same image because his systems could be used to get the fresh water needed for this tilapia breeding area. This is kind of a band-aid solution for now to use fresh 